Hush. It's Thursday. My name is Veronica Lomeli, and I am also known as the Boss Babe Coach. Today, we're going to be talking about how to have a more productive day, okay? I want to see that everyone is slaying their day like a boss babe. So my industry or my profession is in the network marketing industry. I teach boss babes how to build and grow a successful business online. So I'm super excited today to bring you the topic of productivity. How can you have a more productive day? I mean, I think that that is one of those things that is just easy to, to just let the day go by and you're not getting the results that you want because something happened. You didn't plan you like it's already five o'clock and you didn't do anything. So I think my connection on Instagram is bad. So I apologize for that. You guys, I hope that you can still hear me. You can still see me. Um, but I'm just really excited today to share with you what has helped me be more productive. So hello, TikTok. Hi, Instagram. Hi, Facebook. I'm very excited to be able to share with you my tips and tricks that have helped me be more productive. And this can help you either what, whatever your, your schedule is. It doesn't matter if you are um, it doesn't matter if you are working full time. It doesn't matter if you are working part time. It really doesn't matter if you're doing uh, if you're in network marketing, um, if you're doing any other kind of business, it doesn't matter. This will help you regardless, okay? So if you can see me, please, there's two things I wanna ask you, okay? First of all, make sure that you hit that heart button and give me hearts, please, 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 I urge you. Let me just know that you're there and send me some hearts, send me some love. I would really appreciate that. And every time that you find value from what I'm sharing, I would love to see also more hearts come in and type in the comments, hashtag live, okay? And if you're watching the replay, please uh, type hashtag replay, okay? Anyway, so I wanna share with you guys five tips that can help you slay your day. I promise you, I practiced this for a long time. And the moment I did it, oh my gosh, everything changed for me. Like I was like, what, where was I? I felt lost before implementing a morning routine. I felt lost. I, I have been working for, from home for a few years now. However, it's been hard to find the balance so that I can be productive because, you know, it's the house. I have four dogs. One of them is my grandchild and I, they are busy. You know, they keep me busy. And also my family, I have two kids. I'm I'm married, my hubby, you know, dinner and all this stuff, lunch and all this stuff that gets in the way, being home can be really challenging. So I struggled a lot with that for the past few days or for, for the past few years because I couldn't really find that balance. You know, I couldn't really find what was helping me to be more productive. I, I found myself going through the day and it was already over. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really needed to get that done, but I didn't, you know? So anyway, I hope that these tips will help you be more productive. And of course, tweak, and, tweak as you need that they will help you because it doesn't mean that because they, the way I, I share them with you, they, they help me. It doesn't mean that they will help you the same way. Just tweak them as you need, okay? I don't know why Instagram keeps telling me that my connection is poor. I apologize. I will definitely go and post that video. Hopefully it goes, it does record. And hello everyone. I appreciate you guys sharing my, my video and sending me love and some hearts. I really do appreciate that. And by the way, before I share with you these tips, I do wanna invite you to go and check out my link in bio because I do have a free guide for you. If you want to download that, it's a PDF. It's free for you. It will specify even further uh, the all of these tips that I'm sharing with you. Okay. So again, check out the link in bio so you can get those the free resource. And uh, let's start with the five tips. So the first one is affirm and visualize. Oh my gosh, I'm never going to stop saying this. I have seen the power it has on starting your day powerfully in how you can have that vision, the vision and it, the affirming, first of all, let's start with that one. Affirming 
and you visualizing it's it basically goes hand in hand right you want to affirm what you want to achieve right you want to affirm what you want to achieve but when you visualize it it takes it to a whole different level when you visualize yourself achieving that goal it takes you to a whole different level oh my gosh you guys this has been a game changer for me so yesterday we did my my coaching was more on you know affirmations so if you missed it please go back to my previous live that I did yesterday you can find it wherever you are except on TikTok I don't know how to share that you know yet you guys I know TikTok doesn't have that option as far as I know but you can follow me on my other platforms and you can get that okay but um it's really about affirming the right way and let me just say you know any way that you affirm any way that you practice affirmations is going to help you regardless but if you follow the the steps that I, I shared with you yesterday it can help you take your affirmations to the next level and really make them a reality okay so visualizing yourself achieving those affirmations is going to help you get there faster okay so visualize visualize yourself holding that thing that you want visualize yourself achieving that goal visualize yourself get you know just getting there if it's losing weight visualize yourself skinnier if it's uh you know achieving in your rank in your company i i'm in the network marketing profession so that's why um i talk about network marketing a lot by the way i do have an opportunity that if you're looking for an additional stream of income please check out the link in my bio you can also join my um you can join my free group on facebook or you can also uh, learn more in one of my links on there as well so Anyway, affirm and visualize. Very, very important. Again, if you get the free PDF guide that I have with you for you, you can check out my link and you can get that for free. And it's going to help you just take the steps to help you get there in a way that um, you know what to do. You know, sometimes we're lost. I don't know about you, but when I first started, when I first started with um, affirmations, I was a little bit lost. I was like, what do I say? Like, what do I do? Like, it, it does help you. This guide will really help you. But think about affirmations as to where you want to be, what you want to achieve, okay, basically, and where you use, where do you want to see yourself in a month, in three months, in a, in a year, okay? So make sure that you are very, very, um, let me see if I can do something here because I think my connection it's just bad. I don't know why it's bad, you guys. Can you hear me on Instagram? Hello, hello, hi. Leave me a comment. Give me some hearts. If you find value in anything that I'm sharing, please give me some love, you guys. It does help me, you know, just understand that you guys are finding value in what I have to share. But anyway, so that's the first thing. When you first wake up, think about your affirmations. Have a, a notebook where you write them all out. I have about 20 in my notebook and I say them out loud every morning. If I can say them out loud, if you can say them out loud, not just, you know, think them, say it out loud. It feels different. It just gives you this, the, it empowers you. It's just amazing. So make sure that you're saying them out loud and then visualize at the same time. Okay. Visualize yourself achieving those goals, achieving those affirmations. That's number one. Number two, read. I know you're going to say, oh my gosh, she wants me to read. She wants me to do all this. Read. Really. It takes a little bit of your time each morning. You can take, I mean, as long, if you read fast, it could be five minutes. If you read more normal, it could be, you know, 10 minutes. But as long as you're reading on a daily basis, more than romance, romance novels, you want to read more of a, you know, personal development uh, type of book that can help you grow in whatever area you want to grow. So read, find the right book that speaks to you. Right now I'm, I'm reading different books. I'm kind of, I'm an overachiever and I'm reading a few books, but one of them that I'm reading is The, the Slight Edge. I have read it before, but you know what? What happens when you read a book is when you read it the first time, Maybe you're not at the time of life of your life that you are ready to receive the message. 
the same as when you read it again. Does that make sense? It's like you have to be ready for that message. And that's why it's important to read books more than once. Um, but anyway, so right now I'm reading The Slight Edge. It's a great, great book. I mean, I recommend it highly. It really talks a lot about the, the power of consistency. So read it. It's a great book. Another one that I'm reading is The Energy Bus. The Energy Bus is really all about, you know, positive energy and how you can be more focused on the positive versus the negative. It's really, it's a great book. It really reminds you of, of all the great things that we have in life and in, in your business and in your, in your family. Just it's, it's just a great book. It's The Energy Bus by John Gordon. And then I'm also reading the high, the high, um, High Performance Habits by Brendan Burchard. And that is because I love him. He is my number one mentor. Um, I listen to him every day. If you don't know who he is, go follow him. He's on all the platforms. Brendan Burchard, uh, he's a per personal development uh, guru and, and specialist. And he's just so amazing. So please, you know, if you take anything from this, go follow these people that can really help you be more positive, be more productive, uh, just take it to the level that you want to get to by bettering yourself, okay? Again, if you're watching, leave me a comment that you're watching, type hashtag live or type hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. But um, that's the second thing, read. There, it's going to help you in a lot of ways. It will help you start your day with that vision, okay? I always tell this to everyone I talk to. If you're a part of my team with my current company with network marketing, I always tell you guys how what a big difference it has done for me. And the day that I don't read, I feel lost. I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm missing something. I don't feel as as motivated. You know, there's something missing there. Even though I'm I'm naturally a motivated and and a positive person, it, it, it makes a big difference reading. So please, 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 please. That's the number two tip I can I can give you when it comes to your morning routine. Okay, so read. Second, or third, I'm sorry, journal. This one's a big one because people are like, I don't have time to write. I don't have time to, to journal in the morning. Like, are you crazy? That's exactly what I thought. Okay. I'm, I, I'm with you. That's exactly what I thought when I first, you know, started to try this. And I have to say, I tried it a couple of times and I was not successful. Okay. I was not successful because I would try it and then I would give up like within a couple of days. Now it's like part of my routine is something I have to do. I have to. It really will help you in a lot of ways, you guys. This is how it can help you. It can help you liberate your mind from everything that you have been thinking about, or maybe all those thoughts that you're thinking about in the morning. Um, it can liberate you from, from all the stress and, and worries, anxiety. When you journal, you, you're opening your mind to the day, okay? So please journal away. It could be as, as, easy as or fast as two minutes I mean however it is that however long you want to take to journal it's really up to you to to decide how, how long you want to do that for but journaling can really help you be you know liberate your mind to be open for the day and be more productive and just focus on the right things for the day there is a journal that I can recommend and you can do it either way you can do a um physical journal. I don't have it with me right now. I have it next to my bed, but it's a physical journal or it's a, uh, you can also do digital and it's also through Brendan Burchard. I'm not affiliated with him in any way. Please don't think I'm trying to sell anything uh, on his end, but he's so great. I just love him, but you can, you can go through the app growth app and it offers you a journal uh, on there that is digital. You can write in there or you can buy his physical journal um, you can still find it on Amazon. I don't think he, he sells them anymore. I don't know. Um, but you can find the physical. I like the physical. I like both. I mean, depending on how I feel, but I find myself doing more of the writing. So anyway, you can you can find whatever. You can just grab a notebook and start writing away. You do not need something, you know, specific. As long as you write out what your thoughts are, write it all away and it will make a big difference in how you feel for the day. Okay. Fourth, exercise. 
get moving. And I'm not saying, oh my gosh, strength train, it's strength train for an hour every day or go running for an hour. You know, it's not about that. It's more about when you first wake up, you want to get your, your blood flowing, right? You want to get your mind going. You want to start to feel that energy to get going for the day and exercise, meaning you can either stretch you can either do a little bit of yoga you could do you know you could walk take a little walk even if it's just in your room or even if it's in your living room wherever make sure that you move a little bit so that you can get your blood flowing okay it makes a big difference especially when you don't feel like it when you're like oh, I gotta get up and do all this stuff it really can make a big difference when you do the exercise and I would even uh, I would even encourage you to do it first okay I would encourage you to do it first versus um doing you know doing everything else I would encourage you to do the exercise first and then get out of your room and then go and do everything else in, in a different room where you're not tempted to go back to bed Okay, so that can really help. You know, I don't know if I'm live on my page on Facebook or not. I hope I am, but um, I think I did something. I think I did something, but anyway, I can just go back and post the video. But anyway, so that's the fourth thing, okay? That's the fourth tip. And the fifth is plan your day. So now that you, you affirm, you were doing your affirmations, you visualize yourself, you know, achieving even for the day, you're doing all of that, you're reading, you read a chapter in a book that, that really helped you, inspire you to take action for the day, okay? So that is what, what's going to help you, you know, keep on moving forward through the day. And then if you're journaling, also liberating your mind from all those thoughts, all those worries or the stress or just ideas. I mean, there could be a lot of ideas. Who here who is watching is a night owl? I mean, I used to be a night owl and I still am, but I push myself to, you know, get myself to bed and wake up early so that I can get going. Because when I haven't, when I wasn't doing that, I was a lot less productive. No matter what, it was just hard. It was hard for me. So I, I what I find is that at nighttime is when my ideas flow more. And I keep on thinking, oh my gosh, I should do this. Oh my gosh, this, oh, this, oh, this. And my mind is so busy trying to keep all these thoughts that when I write it down, it's like liberating so that I know that I don't, I don't forget. So keep it, make it a habit to have a little notebook next to your bed, even your journal and write out your ideas or anything that you think about at night, because that can help you liberate yourself of those you know those thoughts that are that are, that are not letting you rest okay so if you're a night owl hopefully that helps you it helps it does help me for sure but even throughout the day you know have a notebook with you always I always have my notebooks with me I mean I have like 20 right here I mean you can't see them but I have a, a few that I always keep with me and I'm always writing on all of them because I forget stuff I forget so it, what's going to help you not feel like, oh my gosh, overwhelmed is writing things out. Okay. So um, the, the last thing is plan your day. Okay. Plan your day. So after you did everything that I just said, you affirmed, you visualized, you read, journaled, exercised, then plan, right? You're ready now. You, you wrote it all down. You, your mind is ready. Plan your day specifically hourly how you're going to accomplish your goals for the day okay be very intentional whatever your goals are you go back to those affirmations what is it that you want to achieve what is it that you want to do to do with your day if you're working from home all day specify hour by hour what are you working on if you're if you have a full-time job and then you you want to work on a business specify okay from eight to five work but from 12 to 1, personal development, because it's my lunch hour. And then at 6, when I get home, I do dinner. But right after that, I, you know, I spend a little bit of time with my family. Then I will, you know, focus on working my business for an hour. So doing those things, planning out your day and being specific can really help you be more productive. I mean, really, 
How many times have you been in the situation where, again, going back to when I first started this live, when you wake up and you're so excited, you have all this, you know, you, you are ready to tackle the day, but then life got in the way and that can happen too. I mean, I'm not saying that it can happen, that it can't happen, but when you have a plan, at least you know what you're going to do, but how many times do you wake up and you have no clue? You're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what to do today. I don't know what I'm going to accomplish. I mean, I don't know where to start, but when you plan, when you start planning, it's, it starts to be to get more clear for you. It starts to be more, um, you start to get clarity. Okay. So I promise you it's going to help you a lot if you do that. It will, it will really help you be more um, productive, be more intentional, be tackle the day with purpose, and you're going to end the day with a lot more done versus not having a clue what you're doing for the day. Okay, so use a planner. I don't know what kind of planner do you use? I mean, do you use a, a paper planner? Do you use the digital? I use both because I love paper planners just because they look so beautiful. And I love to also write in there my, my tasks and cross them off. It feels so good. And I do also use a digital planner mostly for blocking my schedule. My digital pl planner is mostly for blocking so that I make sure that it, that it just... I can see my schedule, right? You can do that on the paper planner. You decide whatever works for you, okay? So with that being said, I hope that this was helpful. Please leave me a heart. Type in the comments. Leave me a heart in the comments. Uh, type, you know, whatever feels like you took away, you know, just share with me what your takeaway was from today, if anything. Um, I just want to know that I keep on bringing value to you guys. And Tag, uh, you know, tag anyone that you think might benefit from this and share with others that you might benefit that you think might benefit from this. And um, also, I want to remind you, if you want more, you know, extra help with the these steps that I just shared with you, check out the link in my bio, you can get a free guide so that you can have an amazing day and slay your productivity and slay your business, whatever it is that you want to accomplish, this guide can really help you. It's for it's free for anyone. And also, um, if you want to know more about, you know, how, working from home, I know that I always mention this, I work from home and I work from, I do different businesses. And one of my primary focuses is to have different streams of income. And that is why I, I love productivity topics. And I love, you know, coaching on this industry and on, on the profession because it's a game changer. It can really do so much for you. So if you're looking for an additional stream of income, or if you're looking for uh, just growing your options in terms of your, your, you know, just having extra income for the month or whatever it is that you're looking for, you want to make a change, whatever it is. Uh, please know that I have an option for you. You can check out the link in my bio and check out what I have to offer. And you can send me a private message or comment in the comments below uh, info. And I would be happy to share more info with you guys. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much. I will see you guys tomorrow with more tips and tricks on how to slay your days with a di different types of topics, but also it could be other things that can help you along the way as you're building a business, as you're working, you know, um, whatever it is, if you're working on an online business, on a network, mar network marketing business, um, whatever it is, I really do hope that anything that I share is helpful to you, especially in the digital world, okay? All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day and we will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye.